in the background. You're fine. It's just life, life in general. It won't be on long. Well, hello. We're back at it again with a live stream, a lot of Q&A. I want to say thank you for joining. Let me know who you are. If you have any questions, please shoot them out to me. This is just a straight impromptu. I'll let you get some hardcore feedback from what I know. And if I don't know the answer, I'll tell you I don't know the answer. What's up, Turf? Good to see you, man. It's just a quick Q&A, man. Just trying to throw some stuff out there, you know. I see you're out there making some wine videos and stuff, some wine live streams, live streams, Turf, you know. Hey, Ann, good to have you here. Like I said, I'm just doing a doing a live stream, Q&A. Just throwing some stuff out there. Out there, the world's going crazy. It is wine season. Hey, Turf, what kind of... um? Cheese, do you like to have with your wine? Do you like to have like like cheddar cheese with certain types of wines, or how does it work for you? Yeah, and Turf makes wines. He does some live streams with um a female and they make some live some some wine. What's up, strawberry wine? Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, top of the morning. So Turf, what's the best wine that you have ever made? You know, for me, I don't like, sometimes I don't like white wine. I prefer red, but what's your best wine? Oh, you like all types of cheeses. I hear you, Turf. I'm a cheese person myself. I got to go back and look at the stream, whatever. Anne's Tiny Life, she does homestead videos, and she does a lot of uh, cooking things. She lives in a little house, a tiny house, and she cooks, like, some great breakfast and stuff. Okay, so you only made two batches of wine. Well, that's cool, Turf. It's awesome to hear. Wine is good. So, and you made apple wine? What, 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 how much alcohol was in your wine? And was it like, or mead? Okay, Turf has four batches brewing right now. I'm about to sample that. I'm about to, when you get them bottled up, I'm going to have to buy a bottle of some red wine or something from me and get it shipped to my house. Okay, sweet. Awesome. So, what wine, how many um, proof is it? You know, for your wine, is it like really strong or is it like, oh, you're 18% above. Oh, Anne likes to have that powerhouse wine. She likes to have it full bore hardcore. I like to like say I like to have some wine every now and then on special occasions with some cheese, but I prefer some red wine. I don't like said really the white wine. I don't really like how that tastes. I like Marlowe's. What was that other? Was it Pyrenee? What's it called? Other Pinot? Poo? What's it called? <laughs> what's that P one called? <laughs> Pinot. Pinot. Let's see what I'm saying. I'm, I'm still trying to learn the wine terminology. <laughs> A little Pinot and Marlowe, Marley. Merlo. My wife's dogging me out because I don't know how to say it. Marlowe. I like some Marlowe too. Merlot. Merlot. <laughs> you can tell I'm a rookie when it comes to my wine. I want some apple Oh, wine. shoot. And yours is 80 proof. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of uh, concentration. Hey, Turf, when you get some, some apple made up, let me know. I'm going to have to try a bottle and do a review on your, your wine, you know. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to come out real quick and do a quick video. Let's we'll see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, look him up, Turf Therapy. Like I said, he does some, um, he has some wine and he, he, he does it right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying some wine, especially from someone that I connect with from YouTube, so I'll give definitely a great review on it if it's good, which I know it has to be good. Thank you, Ann. All right, I appreciate both of you. So what have you guys been up to? You been staying in the house with this COVID stuff going around, or you have been going out? I know, Ann, you do a lot of homestead videos, and you're at home a lot. You chill out with Mr. Lucas and a couple of your other 
friends around town. Worms with egg with eggshells and you have to um grind them up real fine. It's a grit. It's more of a grit because they have a gizzard and it helps them digest their food. So uh, eggshells are more of a um a grit instead of a food source. And how I do my eggshells, I'll heat them up in a microwave for about three minutes. Then they're easy to break down and crumble up. Everyone does things differently. But yeah, use the use the eggshells as, as grit and it's good calcium. And if you have any like after leftover eggshells that you ground it up, you can put them in your garden bed to add some some extra calcium in your garden bed as well. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Turf. Got to make sure I pronounce that word right. He says eggshells are more for porosis, porosity. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but it's P-O-R-O-S-I-T-Y, porosity, I think. Hey, garden lady. Good to have you here. Garden lady proved a myth that uh, you can have, yep, it's great calcium as well. Yeah, the garden lady says you can you can put um European night crawlers in a um worm bin three sixty. What up, bar chucking? Good to have you here. But yep, yeah, you can put earthworms or correction European night crawlers in a worm tower and they'll migrate up and devour the food scraps as well. And um the garden lady also said she's interested in getting um some African night crawlers. All I've had is uh. Good job. I appreciate that for letting us know the feedback about your your worms, garden lady. But yeah, like I said, I only had European night crawlers. I never had African night crawlers. And I, if I'm hearing it right, is that different temperatures for, for both type of worms. African night crawlers for my 50th birthday. So when will, when will you be 50 in another 20 years? <laughs> so I don't know. What's the best bedding to start a worm bin with? For me, everyone does things differently. Fed were okay. Happy 50th coming up. I just use for my bedding, I just use wet newspaper, some cardboard, wet it down to the consistency of a wrung out sponge, and um a handful of dirt to get some microbes in there and that's all I've done. Some people use, like I said in previous videos, peat moss or cocoa core, but I've heard that those two, cocoa core or peat moss, will um, sometimes has chemicals in it that can kill your worms. So I just use, like I said, for me, just my bedding has always been newspaper and cardboard. So turf, what do you use? You don't use any of that. Are you peat moss turf? Like I said, garden lady said hi, garden, gardening and barchucking. Okay, so barchucking had leaves. Okay, turf just uses brown paper bags and scraps. Yep. Yeah, I don't put leaves in my um, compost, my worm bin. That's for me because I know if you have those leaves in there, you're gonna have some bugs galore in your, your worm bin eventually. So that's the reason I don't put leaves in my um my worm bin. Yep, the garden lady says they, that they love leaves. I believe it, but like I said, for me, everyone's different. I don't put bring unwanted pests to my house. So let me know if you had any problems with, um about leaves. Cause like I said, I heard uh, leaves make your castings dark. Yep, I believe it. But I heard also some people that have that bring leaves and stuff into their um, their worm bands. They have problems with mites and stuff like that. So, like I said, for me, I don't do that. I always use newspaper and cardboard and food scraps. But like I said, everyone's different. Everyone has their own situation how they do it. If you smash the leaves, you'll be okay. So, Anne, the garden lady said, if you smash your leaves, you'll be okay. Like I said, that's what makes us all unique. We all have our worm bins, and our goal is to just make the rich black gold, and so we'll have good compost for our 
garden bed. How deep and ass, how deep does the, the bedding have has to be? I'd say about two, three to four inches of bedding. That's what I have in my bins. And um all you do is once you feed the food scraps, wrote you know, put foods in different Oh, garden lady said one year she did not smash leaves and had baby snails everywhere. Hi, Delkin fans, 2020. So, yeah, like I said, we all have different um, feedback with worms, and that's what makes us all unique because we're willing to learn from each other. You know, people say you can't put orange pills in your worm bin or onions and the garden, no, not the garden lady. Uh, Emily, the crazy worm lady. I hope to see her back soon, you know, real mm -hmm. soon. But she's done a lot of myth busting things that have proved that you can give worms citrus and stuff like that in moderation. So, what did you do with all your snails then, garden lady, when you had all those snails in your worm bin? Did you make some escargot? So, do you feed your worms meat too, garden lady? I don't put any meat or dairy in my worm bins. Has anyone ever mixed red wig? Has has anyone ever mixed wigglers and night crawlers together? Oh. So the card lady feeds her worm bin dead animals if outside. I'm like, okay, well, give me feedback on that. Okay, so the guard lady, like I said, put carcasses in her outside worm bin and she um, mixes both species of worms. Yep, worms do love dead stuff. They say it's so bad you can get them in compost like a human. <laughs> They say worms that devour those our bodies and stuff. So what's your feedback, garden lady, with the uh, mixture of red wigglers and night crawlers or whatever worms you have mixed in? Yep, I know they eat hair. I, I know worms eat hair. And yep, they eat the bones and leave the bones behind. My friend Dewey, like... Like before, he's done. He's got those um, black soldier flies, and he says they eat everything. We are about to start our first worm bed. What do you recommend? It depends on how many um, the Robertsons. I would recommend um, red wigglers because you get more. And I would say, depends on how big your family is, you're supposed to multiply how much food you feed a day. And then you you break that down to find out how many pounds of food that you can put in a worm bin. And um, worms, you'd have to body weight a day. So I would encourage you, this is just my opinion, to start off with 2,000 red wigglers, which is about two pounds of worms. And start feeding them slowly until your population gets bigger, then add more food scraps. If you if you viewers have anything else to add, you can go ahead and add it. But um, like I said, red wigglers was my first go-to worm because I know there's more in the population. Okay, so the garden lady, every time she adds food scraps to her bed, she adds a handful of bedding. So that's good to hear. So I hope um, the Robertsons that answered your question. But for me, like I said, I like Red Wiggler starting out. And um, then I got the European Night Crawlers as well. But for composting more, I prefer Red Wigglers because it's just more and they consume food scraps quicker than the Europeans. But that's what I experienced in my worm bins. What answer? What if I put old chicken bedding and their waste in, into the, my worm bin? The thing I've heard is with with uh, chicken manure, it has to be cool though. It can't be hot.
because that'll kill your worms. And Ann, you have like a small, small scale worm bin. I think if you have a larger scale worm bin, you can put a lot more food, uh, chicken scrap, uh, chicken manure and stuff in there, and the worms are going to eat that. Okay, I'm glad I answered your question, the Robinsons. Glad, glad to have you. Here. Yeah, what Ann, with anything, the larger the scale, it makes it a lot more easy to to uh, maintain a worm bin because you don't have to worry about overfeeding them. But if it's in a small tote like like I have and you have, it'll probably kill your worms. Mm -hmm. It depends on how much chicken manure you think about putting in there. Yep, guard Barchaka said, if it's fresh bedding, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, you have to let it break down. But Dewey has a, um, oh, okay. And Ann, also, you have those chickens. You can just build a pile, and they'll scratch away and make compost as well. That's what's good about chickens, you know. So, yeah, just make a compost pile and let your chickens scratch away. And they'll make some good compost for you. Yep, good to know. Plus, shoot, once you do that pile outside and your chickens scratch, worms will start coming in eventually, earthworms and the chicken's a good extra source of protein. And then you'll have some compost as well. So, Bart and how you been doing? I said you did a couple of videos. Okay, the garden lady, garden lady and worm said you can put cold rabbit manure in there. So, do the worms eat rabbit, rabbit manure pretty quick? Yep, you got a you got a lot going on and living on a excuse me on a homestead. Yeah, you can feed your chickens that worms and they'll make your compost and then you can have a eight piece chicken dinner. You got so many benefits with your chickens. Let me go back and look at that. Okay, many arch acres farm has what what size uh, bed would you recommend for someone just starting with worms? It's hard to say. Like for me, I'd say probably see so your chickens. One ate a stink or a skunk whole once. Oh, maybe I think you said one ate a skunk. But for for a worm bin starting out, I would say probably, I don't know, I can't tell my dimensions of the size totes, but I'd say probably about a, what's the average size tote? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say about a, about a 10 gallon tote, like Ann said, put some bedding in there and then, oh, your chicken ate a lizard before. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, but start off with like a... Oh, I got a little lizard emoji. Yeah, start off with a uh, small 10-gallon 10, uh, 10 tote, a shallow one, not a real deep one, and then put your bedding in there, and then once your worms get bigger or your population multiplies, you can always add more, get a larger tote and keep adding more worms and expanding. Depends on how many worms you want. Because the larger the surface, the more worms you can get in there, and eventually the population keep growing until. Oh, sweet! So you already got it. You already got the size you want. Yep, I know you started composting your garden, bar check. I'm seeing you pruning some branches. And the thing about starting out, starting out as a worm farmer, where's that? I gotta find a um, many arch acres farm. Is just start with what you have in your house. You know, if you have a basic tote, just start with that. Just make, for me, just make sure it's not a clear tote because worms don't like light. And then, you know, get your bedding in there, a handful of sand, put a little grit in there, like some ground up eggshells or some, some used coffee grounds to get some grit for them. Wet it down to a quick, consists of a web nut sponge. Yeah, Bart Chuck, and he's a green thumb when it comes to his garden. He's got all types of nice crops. I don't know if turf therapy is still in here, but you or Bart Chuck, and 
But I noticed with our tomatoes, every year that we grow them, they always get like these black spots on them. I don't know if that's considered blight or what, but how do you prevent that from, from happening? And we have our peppers didn't grow as well, did they, Heather? Our peppers, they didn't grow. They were real tiny. So, yeah, tell me a uh, little stuff about how to make um, tomatoes grow better. Like I said, we had a, didn't have a good harvest of tomatoes. We had a couple of good ones, but the rest of them were spotted down with some black spots and stuff. And I think what we need to do is redo our, our garden bed, put some new compost in, you know, some new worm castings and start all over, get some fresh bread in. So what made you guys get into worms? What made you guys and gals interested in doing worms, you know? Let's see. Let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, my garden is completely done, Bar Chuck, and there's nothing in there. It's completely dead. We got a we got snow and frost and everything. Okay, so you cook often. That's good. So with tomato blight, make sure no leaves are touching the ground and prune. So you okay. Well, that's good to know for next year. That's good to know. Like I said, hopefully next year we'll have a great harvest with our um, tomatoes. With our cucumbers, we got a lot of nice sized cucumbers this year. Excuse me. And did you say that um in your worm bin? Okay, so garden lady said she'll raise chickens one day. Now, chickens are good to have. Like I said, they'll scratch. But I hear that if you don't wash them, they'll get into certain plants and stuff you don't want them in. But they'll make great compost for you. And I think Ann said that she had problems with her her worm bin with the mixing mixture of worms. I think, Ann, you said you might have earthworms as well. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And did you say that they were dying or something, Ann? Or you said something with the population with your with your worms being mixed up? Because I know earthworms are completely different from red wigglers and European night crawlers. I got half to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh. So your worms aren't breeding as much. The garden, like my outdoor worm barrel has everything in it and everything goes in it no matter what. I don't measure anything. I just throw it in there. Thanks, Bar Checking, for, for the blessings of the sneeze. I appreciate that. And that's what, and you're right, though, garden lady. That's what I like about having a large scale compost bin or worm bin outside, worm farm, because you can put anything in there and everything can just go in there and worms eat or other critters will come in there and eat the the food scraps and stuff as well and it'll benefit your your worm bed okay Ben is not thriving but only have started with about 30 worms left over from a fishing trip okay yeah if you don't have a lot of worms in there I don't know you got to get more worms in there to get your populations thriving and just feed them a little bit at a time. But that's just my input. Like I said, I, I'm still learning about worms. Oh, okay, sweet. Garden lady started with 50 and she's about three to 400 now. Well, good for you. Give them some kind of worm child. Give them some kind of worm child and they will get breeding. And 
The garden lady said, and give us a warm challenge story. Making your arms healthy. Boy, chucking says I was going slow and steady. Okay, so Anne needs more worms. She's been collecting them all over the land. And I think she's collecting more of the earthworms. But I know earthworms are more for irrigation of the soil and red wigglers and European night crawlers and blue worms and, and um, African night crawlers are more of the composting worms. So for your, if you have a, um, if you're using like earthworms, you gotta have, have to have deep sor sorrow, deep soil because they like to burrow deep into the soil. And I don't know if earthworms compost as good as those other four worms that I just said, the European Euros, reds or the blue worms. I'm trying to get my, can't see if I missed anything. Can't get to come up. Well, I'm just glad that you guys have stopped by for my live stream. It's been great to, okay, great to have all you here tonight. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm getting the soil deeper. Well, keep me posted, Ann, with your um, your worms. Hey, Russ, good to have you here. And Russell said, Ann, look for ones with orange, yellow, or red, or pink tails. So Russell knows a little bit about worms as well. Like I said, I am still learning this, but I know what works for me. And if it's working for you, keep doing it. Good night, Ann. Be safe at the prison. You know, wish you the best of luck with all that you do. Keep up the great work with your channel. And you definitely have a great day. Thanks again for stopping by, Garden Lady. So how are you guys YouTube channels doing? The ones that are creating YouTube channels, are you growing steady? Good night. See you later. Take care. Like you said before, Bar Chuck and Stow and Stow, slow and steady. That's the way it's supposed to be. And with your YouTube channel, just make a video once a week. You know, try to keep your uh, audience engaged. And um, if you like to say, if you build it, they will come. Well, Bar Chuck, good for you. Mark Chucklin's up to, up to 80 subs. So you plateaued. And, but you're getting, you're getting viewers. And you're getting viewers. Your, your channel's growing. You went from 1,000, I think you're up to, what, three to 5,000 subscribers? So you're going to hit a plateau temporarily, but you're going to grow again. Yeah. And you were getting trolled and... This is talking to Ann, and you would think about um, giving up, but you changed your mind and just kept going with your, your channel. Because I already know this. I got trolled as well. I'm like, no matter what video I made, this guy trolled everything. He said that my my coffee was a cancer-creating coffee. <laughs> my Norx towels are garbage, you know. He just... <laughs> See, Ann's got 4,000, 4,000, over 4,400 subscribers. So congratulations. Don't give up. Keep making videos. Yeah, this guy just, he trolled the heck out of me. And I'm like, why is this guy trolling me? I'm like, he even had his own YouTube channel. <laughs> I was just shocked, but uh, I did the right thing. I just blocked him. I'm like, I'm not going to, I don't need this on my channel because I don't, I don't head that way, you know? And like with me or you, if, if someone doesn't like what you like or say, you don't have to subscribe to someone. You can just unsubscribe. You know what I mean? Yep, trolls do suck, but keep going. And you're right, though. They are just, I don't know. And then and the thing that makes me laugh is most trolls, it's just a fake account with no videos, no channels, no subscribers. So it's just a spam. You know what I mean? So it's going to happen. And so just... <laughs> 
just move past the negative comments that people make about us. It's it's just it's just messed up. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you share that because I'm nervous of getting trolled as I grow. Okay, so many you don't have fifty subscribers. You barely over fifty. Well, keep making videos because. Yep, you gotta learn to ignore, like Ann said. Yeah, you are going to get get trolled. It don't matter who you are. You can make the best perfect video, and someone's still gonna troll you. But like I said, most of the trolls they don't have any followers. You're just some some random guy or gal that's just trying to do a little hate mail to to ruffle your feathers up. So get used to it. The true followers of you are the ones that are like on your live streams that you know give you comments on your videos every now and then or and watch a video. Is there anything else you can't feed, feed ones? Yep, bless and release. I definitely believe that. See, for me, and I don't feed my worms meat or um, dairy products. But like I said, if it's outside, you can do it. But but starting out, just feed them basic like paper, um, food scraps like your banana pills. Stuff like that. And the best thing to do is to freeze your food scraps before you um, give it to your worms because it'll break down a lot quicker, you know, and you know, you can blend it and they'll eat it up a lot sooner as well. But the main thing is worms just start off slow. And the main thing is that people do is they overfeed their worms. And, and when you do that, you're going to cause problems because they can't consume it quick enough and it's going to, you know, rot and just take the worms longer to devour it and you don't want that to happen but worms will eat mold and all that stuff but you have to start off slow slow and steady and did a video about um she got a a spam from an amazon person about a three three drawer uh amazon testing okay <laughs> and leave them outside and let the the food freeze outside, but I got your uh, your troll spam mail as well about that three that three drawer Amazon cat file cabinet. If I pay six thousand dollars, they'll refund refund my money back. I'm like, sounded legit. I was gonna do that. Said no one ever. But yeah, it's like people waste so much time trying to troll us, and I hate that. Gosh, yeah, they're so. Oh yeah, do that. I don't know why people people waste so much time spamming us. It's like people, everyone has a chance in life to make YouTube videos. I mean, if you're good at making spam videos, be a YouTuber and show people on how to spam. <laughs> hey, Princess Lillian, Lillian's, Lillian's Gardens. I hope I pronounced it. Good to have you. Let me see what, uh, okay. Bar checking started freezing the food for the worm bed. Now they move it to the fridge and add the worm to the. Hold on. I started freezing the food for the worm worm bin. Now then move it to fridge and add. Okay, so you you freeze it and thaw it out. Yeah, you're right. Some people have black hearts and some people don't have any hearts at all. Said the tin man. But eventually the tin man did get a heart though, and then once he got that heart, he was changed. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, there lately there's been so many evil people in the world. I'm like, why are people so evil? Yeah. I did a live stream a couple, I think it was about two weeks ago when a word I, like a word I didn't know was a xenophobia, if I said it right. And xenophobia. And that's the fear of people from different countries. I'm like, how in the heck are you scared of someone from a different country? when everybody's basically an immigrant, you know what I mean? People were actually migrant, you know, immigrant, immigrant, what do you, what's the word? Immigrate. Immigrated over here. And then you're the person. Yeah, you rally around the good people. That's right, you gotta be have the good people. You gotta have the people that lift you up instead of the bucket of crabs that pull you down. But I'm like, how are you scared of someone from a different country? Is that like, if you're white, you're scared of Germans because you're Irish or and I'm like, okay, if you're married and your spouse is German or something else, that makes you definitely a hypocrite because you said you're scared of something and then you're... So I never heard of xenophobia until recently. 
That's just my opinion. I'm throwing it out there. Comments are great for sharing and learning. Sometimes I wish they were just turned off. The best thing you can do for comments crap is just delete it. Just look at it, laugh at it, and delete it. Because it's not even worth your time. Don't let people suck your energy out. Because, like I said, trolls are just... It's just crazy. Don't let anyone steal your joy. My wife said, oh, don't let anyone steal your joy. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Don't let, don't, don't let anyone steal your joy. I didn't say it like Oh, she said it like that, but I did the remix first. Not patting that one. Don't be taking my song. <laughs> yeah, you can't let people take your job. Uh huh. I know everyone's got some. I'm telling you, I think everyone's got some type of something else in them. We just don't know what we have in us. You know what I mean? And and I'm the type of person. If, if I don't like, if I don't care for someone, I just don't go around them. I don't go out and do hate crimes. I don't beat them up. I just stay away from people. Because I have my own problems to have to deal with. Yeah, that's good, Minnie. Minnie Farm. She says, I'm, I enjoy finding new friends on YouTube, so I can't imagine giving up the haters that come. Hi. I, I can't pronounce it right. White Garden and Worm Farm. Hello. She's new on YouTube. She does a lot of worm videos. She does live feeds. She's got a lot of knowledge with worms and stuff. She's still growing her channel. So look her up and give her some support. I can't pronounce it right, but it's um W H Y T E D A V Garden and Worm. I think it's White Davy and Garden Farm, I think. I'm sorry if I pronounced it right. But it's good to have you here. Good to have all of you all of you here. But yeah, like I said, it's great. Um, I enjoy having worms, and um, it's it's. I lost my worms starting out. It was a trial and error, but now I know what and what not to do. So I'm going to learn and grow from my mistakes. Yeah, I hope you can do some lives too, um, bar chucking in the the winter because lives are cool though. Get you. Oh, okay. I can pronounce it right. Yeah, but yeah, live streams are good though, because you can actually like, you know, it's just more like you connect with each other. It's like, like you're there, you know what I mean? Yeah, brother. But yeah, it's it's awesome to be able to to watch some live streams. Oh, I was on a live stream yesterday, and someone did a a spam, and uh, and what it was, the someone asked for a shout out, and it was something with someone's name. And another name, and it was basically was the N word, but they thought it was funny. But the thing I like about YouTube, the algorithm, they caught that comment and deleted it. I was like, oh my gosh, people, I can't believe you're saying this stuff. But yeah, YouTube delete that. So watch what you say on YouTube because if you say the wrong stuff, your channel can get demonetized, or you can get some strikes and get deleted from YouTube. So yeah, yeah, Bart Chuck, and I'm glad that you actually say your name. Like I said, uh, I think it was a live stream before because I didn't, didn't know how to pronounce it, but now you're like, I'm going to try to get you down. What's up, everybody? This is your friend, Bart Chuck. I like that, man. It's awesome. Can't wait to make some t-shirts, brother. Yep, Francis. Tell Francis I said thanks for stopping by, Anne. Thanks, thank you for sending her my way. I'm looking forward to seeing your next live stream or your next live stream and your next video. Yep. If if Francis has any more, Francie has any more questions, feel free to ask. Send her my way because I know some things and don't don't know about ones, but I will Laundry. help her out and tell her what I don't can and don't know. And there's other worm farmers, worm farmers here that know video. Answers to your questions as well. Have a blessed night, Ann. Okay, Ann, someone said, oh, yes, I have a mixture of night crawls, red wiggles, and giant crawls. So Prentice has a lot of mixtures. Well, good for you. Okay. I'm glad you guys are connecting. I'm glad everyone's, um, you know, interacting with each other. If you don't know each other, you know, check out their channel, subscribe to them. Because everyone here that's on my page that's in this live stream, live stream as of right now, 
I am connected to them. If I am not connected to you, let me know and we'll look each other up. But Anne, when you make some more wine, let me know. I'll check that video out and if, maybe I can get a sample of it. And then one more thing, Anne, before you leave. Have you ever made dandelion wine? I've hear, heard about that. I've never had it. But is that stuff any good? If you know anything about dandelion wine, let me know. I mean, I guess I'd have to try it one time to see if I like it or not. But I never tried dandelion wine before. If anyone has, let me know. Let me know if you think it tastes good or not. Hey, Guten Yarn, good to have you here. Hello, everything's going well. Everyone's healthy. Trying to not be around a lot of people with the COVID, Corona and all that stuff going on. It's getting worse. I've been around people that ha have been tested positive. Yep. I've been around people that have been tested positive. I got swabbed. I'm negative. I don't like that test. I don't like stuff on my nose in general. Um, hopefully I'll never have, have, have to do that again. Hello, May. Good to have you here. Look up May's Homestead Chronicles. Isn't it a new YouTube friend as well? We are in Wisconsin and we have eight. Th oh, you have a lot of cases of it. Yeah, it keeps getting worse and worse. Yeah, like I said, stay healthy, you know, if you can. Try to stay away from people. It sucks being in the house. But thank God we YouTube creators. You can make videos. My wife's giving me an eye roll. But she still loves me. <laughs> Corona's making me loopy. Oh, man, it's getting cold outside. I'm getting like Jack Nicholas and The Shining. I don't like being cold. Here's Johnny. Oh, man. But how are you guys handling this um, COVID-19 corona stuff? Are you guys in the house a lot? If you're on a homestead, I know you can go outside and feed your goats, chickens, and your alpacas or whatever you got. But, yeah, it gets kind of boring. I've been watching, like... I've been watching, I'm going to be honest, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and the main thing I've been watching is like uh, the political stuff, you know, I'm just watching what's going on, I've been watching both sides, left, right, you know, and just watching different feedback, you know, it's everybody saying it's his fault, her fault, their fault, but it's never no one else's fault. <laughs> I'm like, we need to take ownership of our own action, we need to stop blame shifting, I kind of wish our political parties could just be a no name, just the party. You know what I mean? No, on no divided situation, just together. We need to unify. Gosh, our world is just going crazy. You know what's crazy? It's like when nine eleven happened, nobody was talking about what party they were in, what color this person was, what religion they were. You know what I mean? It seems like when we have a crisis. We forget about everything. When we're back to our normal selves, that's when life's like, he did it because he's black or she did it because she's white. I'm like, we need to come on to people. Let's just love one another. You know, that's what the Lord said to do. It's just love your neighbor, you know, love each other. Sorry to go on a little rant and tant, but I had to go there temporarily. <laughs> and now back to this video. That's my little commercial. So, but yeah, I'm glad to see that everyone's staying healthy. Oh, yeah, May. Me and my wife, we've been married for about 24 years now. We're, it's crazy. We're married September 11th, 1997. On September 11th, that's our wedding anniversary. Okay, and I mean, many you work from home. Well, good for you. You and yarding, we stay in for sure and away from other folk. But it's nice to be able to still go outside as much as possible. Yep, and he says, you are right, though, that temps are going down. Let's see. Why, why David Gardner and Warm said, um, it's frustrating how old it is. And because of COVID, I have to wash the winter jackets every time we leave home. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm glad you grouped me, May. Like I said, I don't like to rant and rave, but I'm like, everyone has a chance to be successful. What we choose 
choose how we're going to live our life, you know. Have a hockey coach, this thing was like everything you do, everyone has a choice. Good or bad, you get to choose. Oh, awesome. Good, well, good for you being married for 21 years. And you have two, Maze, don't you have like two kids? Yeah, you have to stay off the news because, yeah, it, it gets pretty bad. Oh, 11 years. You tricked me. Okay, 11 years. But it's still good, though, to be married that long. Usually marriages last, like, for six months. You know, the those real TV weddings. You know, the bachelor, the bachelorette. Those are like those little... <laughs> like, you can't fall in love with somebody within two weeks like that. And then want to marry them. Okay. Bar Chuckin, you have a great night. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate everything that you did. You do, you know, keep up the great videos. You know, let me know when you get that live stream up because I'm looking forward to that. If you don't know Bar Chuck, Chuck and look him up. Roll out. He's got a lot of garden videos. He does a lot of reviews on um, gardening products. So check him out. It's Bar Chuckin. Yeah. Excuse me. Peace out, Bar Chuckin. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. But I just want to say, um, seriously, I appreciate everyone that um, that's part of my community. I appreciate you, you know, subscribing, helping my channel grow, and I, I reciprocate the, the love as well. Um, um, like I said, if I say something wrong, feel free to call me out. But like I said, most of my time with my worm bands. Yeah, you're right. That's the thing about marriage is... Uh, Challenging challenges, challenge challenges is what makes marriages complicated. And the main thing is, just agree with your wife, and everything will be fine. My wife just said something I'm not going to agree with, but she said, <laughs> she said, just agree with your wife, and everything will be fine. <laughs> but most of most of the time, women are right. I give it to you. That's about ninety nine point nine point nine 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 percent of the time. Women are right. I'm just throwing this out there, guys. Most of the time, women are right. Preach it. Just suck it up and move forward, guys. <laughs> My wife's over give think I'm giving chitch. <laughs> but no, the main thing is, I think the reason why marriages fail most of the time is because we think we're going to change that person. And, um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that, May, for the compliment. But yeah, a lot of times marriages fail because we think we're going to change that person. And that's the wrong thing. The main thing is do, to do is you have to change yourself to make yourself a better person. Am I 100% perfect in my marriage? No. But um, I try to do the right thing. You know what I mean? We still pray every night. We don't fight like we used to. So that's what makes our love, our relationship stronger, you know. I wasn't great until I got married to that kid. <laughs> My wife's going to come over and hit me with something. <laughs> no. No, I'm great. Yep, exactly, Manny. You're right. Once you figure that out, you, um, you're you definitely going to learn how to make your marriage a lot stronger. Because it's a challenge. That's right. 99% right. <laughs> yep, and you're right. The women are right majority of the time. But we just don't listen. You know, most of the time, remember the old school days when we would... They would ask for directions. <laughs> we should have just done it that first time and found out how to get to our location. I'm going to switch gears on you for a second. But um, another thing, guys, I'm going to throw something out there with our, with our money. It's almost Christmas time. I hope you guys aren't, like, using all your credit cards to buy Christmas gifts. You know, it's been, like, five, $6,000 on all this PlayStation 5, all this iPhone 12s and all that stuff. If you don't have the money to buy stuff, don't buy it. You know what I mean? Don't get into debt. Am I perfect? No. I'm working on getting out of debt. I made bad choices, but I'm trying to reverse that to become successful in life. I'm getting up into the age where I want to retire. Thank you, May, for the confirmation. But I want to retire. I'll be 51 this year. And um, my goal is to retire at 62. Let's see. I don't think... It's a matter of right or wrong as women. I don't think my viewpoint is more important. It is about carefully examining our viewpoints and going on and go with the most practical 
options. And you're right, though, I agree. It's too, agree with you as well. Ways. Wade Davies Gardening and Worm Farm. Like I said, check out. She does a lot of worm farming videos as well. But yeah, if you're in debt, work on get out of getting out of debt. That's my main thing. Is debt is not your friend. Debt is not. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to throw that that quick plug into the, the live stream. Like I said, that's that's my biggest thing is. I don't like that. It just makes your life miserable. Yeah. But, um, I'm going to see if anyone has any other questions they want to ask me because I don't want to waste your time. You know, I just want to thank you guys for uh, stopping by, taking a few minutes of your busy life out to, um, Princess said hi to W. Davy and Worm, Worm Farm. So, but yeah, like I said, um, I'm still learning about worms. I don't know a lot. Of, I don't know a lot, but I know enough to get by and make, make them. Oh, sweet. Hey, you got to start from somewhere. You know, you got to start from somewhere. Let me try to get that back up. I like that. May's Homestead said, uh, we're planning to live out of our shop until we can, can, until basically you can get his house debt free. Hey, you got to live where you can. You know what I mean? Once you get the house paid off, you can do what you want because that's where most of our debt is in our houses. Okay. Oh, so you're waiting to... Okay. Yeah, build your house. Do it. You know, if you have the money or whatever, I'm, I'm proud of you. I love seeing people succeed in life. You know, congratulations on your, your journey coming up. I just want to say... I wish you the best of luck. Like I said, I'm the type of person I don't hate. If you're doing successful in life and life's good, I am happy for you. But the only only way I'll pump my brakes is when you start bragging about this and that because I know for a fact you can have one thing one day and it's, it can be gone tomorrow. And that's and that's definitely like our life. We got to value and cherish each day as if it's our last. And also, if you haven't, throw us out there. Check out my video. Um, about the reason to have a living will, because if you don't have a living will, and if you and you died right now, who's going to get your property? You know, they're going to be able to divvy your assets up. So, just throwing us out there. If you don't have a living will, get a living will made. It's if it's about 150 bucks, but it's money greatly spent because, like I said, we're going to die. We don't know when, but. Let's just be prepared with COVID out right now. We don't know if we're going to live to see tomorrow, but I'm good to go. I'm just going to throw this out there. I know Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and also I have a living will, so my money's already allocated to my family, so I don't have to worry about that. Death's not, an, it's not something I like to talk about, but like I said, I'm not scared because I know I'm going to go to a better place, so. If you don't have a living will and your life's not correct, thank you. Yeah, get your life straight, you know, get things situated because you don't know what you got until it's gone. Cherish each day as if it's your last, you know. Try to do something good for the world, you know. If you haven't told your mom or your dad you loved them lately, take time out, send them a phone call, you know, call them tonight, tomorrow, and just tell them you love them. You know, if, if you have hatred, Okay, have a good night, Guten Yard, and thank you for stopping by. But I'm going to end in about a minute. Like I said, tell someone you love them. If you never did, forgive your enemies. Whatever happened in the past, ask for forgiveness, you know, and because they kind of say if you don't forgive someone, it's like you're, you, you're drinking a poison and waiting for that person to die. So, yep, Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. Yeah, that's right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. Like I said, I don't like to. Uh... Good night. But yes, like I said, I just want to just take time out to say, you know, I appreciate you guys and gals for stopping by. I'm looking forward to watching more of your videos, seeing everyone's channel grow. 
you know, look me up. If you have any questions, feel free. I don't know the answers to everything. There's other great people in this feed and other people that I've subscribed to that have great input about worms or whatever other topics you want to know about. So I just want to take time out to say thank you for being part of my community. If you like this video, you know, share it with friends. Just let people know that together we can do a lot, you know, do a lot and grow as a community and become strong if we love one another. Well, thank you, Manny. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that too. You're a great friend as well. You know, thank you for everyone that stopped by. Like I said, I don't want to hold you up. I know everyone's going to get tired. We're in different time zones. And um, I just want to say once again, thanks again for being, being there for me. It kind of cut out on me, but like I said, have a good night, everyone. You take care. Be safe, healthy, healthy. If you don't have a living will, get a living will made. Say your prayers. Forgive your enemies. Love one another. Because the only starts with one person to make the world different. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your night.